So you've got an HP USB flash drive that's stuck as read only, right? You try to format it, you get this error. This disk is right protected. Of course, that means you can't delete files, you can't rename anything, you can't do anything except read or copy the files. I guess at least you have your data, but let me show you how to fix it. Open disk part command here. Uh, you can see I have a couple of drives here. The 30 gig, uh, the 32 gig drive is the HP drive. It's uh, disk four, so we select disk four. Now we type attribute disk. You can see the current read-only state is yes, but a read-only state is no, which is weird. Anyway, let's try the command attribute disk clear read-only and hit enter. Uh, it says um, a disk attributes clear successfully. All right, let's try the attribute disk command again, and the results are still same. Nothing changed. I think it's a bug with these drives or something that's making them read only at a, a former level. I honestly have no idea. But thankfully, PNY provides an app to fix this issue. It's called UFIX2. Let me open that. Uh, you can see it's pretty minimal looking app. We can see the drive letter here. See, I have multiple drives connected, but it only shows the G drive, which is HP. I guess it only recognizes HP and PNY drives. I don't know. We click on recover. Now the process is done. It's going to take some time depending on your drive size. One thing I have to note here is that the latest version of this app didn't work for me, but this version is slightly older and it did. You can find the link for this version down in the description below. Anyway, what this app is, is actually a lower level format tool. You can see it right there. Now a simple Google search tells us that what it does is basically just resets the drive to factory settings and the process fixes the read only bug. Now there are all different versions. There's also a UFIX 3 and I think that's for the drives that are larger than 64 gigs, but I can't say for sure. So uh, be careful before using anything. And now if anything goes bad, it ain't on me. After some time you get the device fast status like this. Okay, let's open the disk part again and see what's up. Select this for because we already know what disk it is. And then attribute disk. Yeah, everything looks good doesn't say read only yes anymore okay let's try to copy a file here it's done you can rename the drive yeah delete files so, uh, looks like it's worked now that's what i call a fix well that's all folks hit the like button if you like the video subscribe for more and of course don't forget to hit the bell button comment if you have something to say i read them all good day